in the last exercise we used a well cut loop it was four beats long and it was cut perfectly at the start and the end but sometimes you're going to be working with with material that was recorded at a at a completely different tempo that live can't guess and it's not nice and evenly cut okay at the start and the end so in this case there's a number of steps you can help or you can take to help it along let's go right to the week three folder in the warping uh folder now choose drums one drop that into the audio track okay so then you play it back okay so it was recorded at a completely different tempo and live hasn't managed to guess this <clears throat> so to take it in a little closer to the tempo we need it to be right click above the first warp marker and choose warp from here okay so this should uh, snap it a little closer to the current tempo Okay, it's pretty good. Uh, it's a lot closer than we were before, but if you if you listen closely and you look if you look closely at the waveform, you'll see again we have these beats that aren't quite snapped to the grid. Now you don't always want your beats to be exactly snapped to the grid, but just for the purpose of this exercise, we're going to quantize the audio, uh, just as we have done with MIDI clips. So where you're snapping the the beats to the grid. Okay, so to do that, select the portion of the audio you want to quantize. Or you can just hit Command A to select all, and right click, just the same as with MIDI. Choose Quantize Settings. Uh, choose the the division that you want it to be quantized to. And hit OK. Okay, and that audio should be nicely snapped to the grid.